So, how many step treatments is it? Yeah, so it will be the cleansing step, you know, do the enzymes. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll do the extractions. And then we're going to do the high frequency and then the cold hammer. And then the last step is 30 minutes of the LED light. Okay. Is the extraction part I fear the most? Yes. <laughs> it's a part everybody fears. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I'll just take it at your pace. Okay, no worries. Thank you. You're welcome. That feels so gentle. <laughs> yeah, I like to be gentle, especially because the next part, it won't be so gentle. <laughs> Enzyme mask, yes, right? Enzyme. So, what type of enzyme does it have a particular specific type of enzyme or just? Yes, actually. So, it has an enzyme that's derived from, um, it's called pancreatin. So, if you're vegan, you won't like this one because it's derived from cow. Okay, from what? From a cow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not vegan. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do have a vegan option. I just oh, really? Sure. Yes, we do, but it's in a different room. Okay. Yeah, that's we, rarely, good. we rarely have uh, vegan. Oh, that's good. That's we very have... considerate yes. of you guys to create the vegan one. <laughs> yeah. So the vegan. Just in case. <laughs> so the vegan enzyme is from a plant. Yes. Okay. Instead of being, it's from like a pain. Mm. Which comes from the and do they use the same results? It does, it does. I'd say this one's better, it's a little bit stronger. Okay. The other one's not as potent as this one. As this one. So we prefer to use this one. Alright. And just to make sure your eyes are safe. Okay. But before I do that, I'm gonna cut your skin. With the prepping solution. Alright. This is the prepping solution. So, how long am I going to have the enzyme mask on for? Sorry. You'll have it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. But since it is your first treatment and I do see quite a bit of buildup, mm -hmm. I'm going to for I'm gonna leave it on for about 10 minutes. Okay. Because I wanna spend most of the time doing the extractions. Okay. I'm removing anything that's inside your skin. So that's what I'll be doing. So this mask is not very pretty. I'm sorry mm -hmm. for the video. It looks yeah, a okay. little bit like, honestly, it's like baby poop. <laughs> it's the color of baby poop. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> You'll see it when you okay. watch your video. <laughs> it is not pretty. Okay. But it works. It's good my eyes are covered anyways. Yes. So I really don't know how bad it looks. <laughs> Until later. It, it literally looks like baby poop. <laughs> Uh, but it smells nice because yeah, it, it does. has chamomile it does. Mm -hmm. and oatmeal because we don't know it's so cold I know it'll be warm in just a yeah, second I like it too yeah. it'll be a little bit warm in a bit do you hear the steamer? Mm -hmm. just a little bit I can get it part of your cheeks. Okay, covering your face in more um, 4x4s. Okay. It's just to keep your uh, skin hydrated. Okay. And wet because we need the enzyme to be consistently wet. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. It also keeps your skin from getting too hot from the steamer. Okay.
Seems like a fun date. Yeah, you're not claustrophobic, right? No, no, no. Okay. It's like a mummy. You know how mummies are yeah. covered. Do you have asthma? No, I don't. I feel a little bit hot. Oh, yeah. But mm. it is necessary. Feels like I'm inhaling very hot <laughs> air. Oh, you don't like it. I'll look up. Yeah, because I'm in air. Yeah, good. This yeah. is much better. Much We don't have to do the 10 minutes, we can just do five since it's your first time. Okay. Um, it'll take a little getting used to it. And for the most part, I'll be doing chemical peels on you. This is just your first time here, so we always do the enzyme mass. Okay, am I doing the chemical peel today? No. Okay. So the first time we never do a chemical peel because I don't know your skin well enough to feel comfortable with doing a chemical peel. So once I get to know your skin a little bit better and I see you the second time uh, and your skin's not dry or irritated, I will go ahead and do a chemical peel. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> So your okay, is check if it's recorded. Yes, I think it is, yes. It, it has is. a red timer mm -hmm. on top of it. Yes, yeah. it does. Alright. Mm -hmm. Straight into the extraction. Mm. <laughs> Which you're not gonna like that. I right? know. I'm sorry, I it's know. not going to be then each time I come for the treatment, I'm going to do the enzyme mask. Yes. Okay. Well, not every time. Sometimes I'll do the enzyme and the chemical peel. Sometimes I'll just do the enzyme. Okay. Sometimes I'll do the chemical peel. It just depends on how your skin is doing that day. Do you do spa services here as well? No, we only do acne treatments here. Okay. That is all that we do. And the consultations. Okay. Yes. Only specialize in acne treatments. That's all I do all day. Um, this pimple popping. <laughs> and you enjoy it? Yes. I love it. You know, I like watching the videos yeah, I too. Do. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> On Facebook, yeah, I love it. You see waxing and pimple. Popping. Oh, you like waxing oh, too? I know it's so satisfying. I, waxing actually grosses <laughs> me out for some reason. I don't know really? why. It's like you would think the you know the pimples would gross me out more, but no, it's actually the hair. <laughs> Uh, my partner is just like, what really do you enjoy what are you here? Watching? Well, yeah. enjoy it. Especially when I'm trying <laughs> it's to satisfy. Yeah, when I'm trying to sleep, I just put it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I just keep watching. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's very so satisfying. Can I open my eyes now? Yes, you can open your eyes. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the light on. Are you sensitive to the light? No, really. No? Okay. Yes. The needle, what the needle looks like. Okay. That way you're not like shocked or anything once you see it. Oh my it. god. I don't want you to be scared. But. Okay, so this is the needle. Oh, it's a regular needle? It's a needle, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and open it. This is the hardest part for me is opening this little. It's like those, the cheese sticks. <laughs> it's like peeling the top of it. <laughs> so it looks like this. 
I'm just using like the very tip of it. Okay. Like very small amount. I'm not going to eat <laughs> So that's all you would use to no, put on my face? No, and my fingers. I'll go in and I'll extract with my fingers. I had, after the consultation, I had like a breakout. Yeah. Like two weeks ago, I had lots of pimples with, mm -hmm. I was in pain. Mm -hmm. But I'm gone now. Good. Did you make the switches? Mm. Did it hurt? A bit. It's a poking feeling. Yeah, it's a poking feeling, but I think the extractions hurt more. So you're, you're going through the pain of extraction. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're making the changes, the lifestyle changes. Because... Okay, if, if, still, if I'm cleared, I wouldn't really need to do the extractions anymore, is that it? No, so once you're clear, people stay on maintenance because... Uh -huh. You cannot, there's no cure for acne, so once you're cleared, you can stay clear, but it's by continuing to do the same things that mm. got you clear. So, living an acne safe lifestyle. So, making sure you're not using like pore clogging ingredients in your skincare and also in your hair care. You want to make sure you're not using that. Some of these, did you like try to get them on your own? What's that? Did you try to get some of these on your own, like uh, extract? Do it like, on did my you, own? Mm -hmm, did you try to pick at it? I do that sometimes. Oh, okay. I shouldn't? Yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> how did you find, how did you figure that out? Because it looks like the skin's broke, because I have goggles on, so I okay. can see everything. But the skin just looks like it's broken. <gasps> the barrier doesn't look complete. It's like compromised. So it's and so it's also scabbed. Some areas where you see the darkness, it's because it's like scabby. I have that thing. I cut it off Amazon. I enjoy doing it. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Oh no. So I should stop, right? Yes, you should. Here, it's pretty clear. You have one there. I know it's because of this, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll go away. I'll go away. Doing really good. Now I can wait for that to dry a little bit. But you did so good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I know it wasn't easy. <laughs> but we got most of it out. Anything that is left remaining will get out the next time. So this is your face, guys. So I'm gonna do high frequency. Okay. So what's that? It's a high frequency. It's the therapy that produces ozone on the skin, which is going to help kill the bacteria inside of your pores and on the surface of your skin. Can you take off your earrings? Like any metal in the mouth is a contraindication, but typically it does. it is not an issue. We've had clients with those things and okay. it doesn't pose any threat. Now, if you had a pacemaker or any heart conditions, mm -hmm. I would not be using this on you. Okay. So what does this do for the skin? So it's creating ozone and the ozone goes into the skin okay. and it helps to kill the bacteria that's causing that's being that's causing the acne. Okay. So it kills P acne's bacteria.
So this is the area that uh, you take that. So it might feel a little different in that area. It'll help bring down some inflammation. Mm, it is good. Mm -hmm. Especially after the extractions. Yeah, but this is how proper extractions look. You see how there's no scabs? Yeah. This is what it looks like when you do it at <laughs> home. I know. No picking. Because you know, most of the, uh, most of us, we won't touch anything if you picked at it. But I went ahead and got that for you because oh. I knew that it had something really big inside. Like the little comedone was still in there. And I'm like, that is going to not go away if we do not get rid of it. But typically, we don't even touch it if you picked at it. Like if we've noticed that you picked at it really hard because then that can happen. Hmm. Like the skin, the little scalp will just peel off. And we prefer not to do that. Now I know. Yeah, now it's okay. And everybody, most people that have acne have that issue where they pick their skin like out of boredom or out of like stress and anxiety, they like pick it. But it is best not to. To avoid any pigmentation, scabbing. So the little spots that are inflamed, those are normal. The inflammation will go down. Okay. Just make sure that you are applying ice at home and you wrap the ice in a little paper towel. Okay. Don't do it directly on your skin because you can burn yourself with the ice. With the ice. Yes. Okay, so when it's itchy or when it's inflamed, mm -hmm. I'll do the ice. You can do the ice. Thing. Okay. But make sure you wrap it like inside of a thicker paper towel, you know, like the kitchen yeah. ones. And then you'll like have a little ice cube in here and you'll like dab okay. it. Yeah, don't put the ice cube directly oh, okay. on. Yeah. So but how often should I do that or as required? As often as you need, okay. especially with the inflamed acne. So like that one that you had there is inflamed, okay. this one was inflamed. A lot of yours is non-inflamed, which is like the closed and open comedones. But um, for your inflamed acne, you can do the ice. Also, just in general, if you're bored or you feel like the need that you feel like you're about to pick, right? You feel mm -hmm. like you're about to go in the mirror mm -hmm. and start picking out of like boredom or, you know, because you don't like the way it looks and you want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Just remember that picking <laughs> makes it worse. Okay. Ice will always help it. It'll help reduce inflammation. And when you reduce the inflammation, you'll have less hyperpigmentation. The bottom and on the front. Like up here mm -hmm. and down here. So how long am I here for? You're gonna be under there for 15 minutes because that is all the time that you have left. And you're gonna let me know what you feel. Mm -hmm. If you feel anything at all. Right now? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Perfect. So that will be yours to take, basically. Mm -hmm. The mandelic. There we go. And we're all done. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back from the acne appointment now and I just thought to, you know, talk to you guys and show you the products that I got. But before then, this is what the skin is looking like now. I really want to take my skincare seriously this year, 2024, and I just don't want to be buying just any other products. I really want to be intentional about the things that i use and i want to, i'm going to be consistent so i'm going to know exactly what the problem is because i've used quite a number of products on my face and i don't know which worked and which didn't but anywho so i went for consultation first yeah yeah i'm taking it that seriously so i saw a dermatologist or a cosmetologist i don't know which exactly they were but they are professionals actually we talked about a lot of things it was almost two hours 
she looked at my face told me the type of acne that i have and she walked me through the treatment i would get and over the period of time i would get it and it's a lot and i just realized that if you're acne prone and you want to treat your acne it's a lifetime change from the things you eat the products you use in fact the one that baffled me the most or that shook me the most was hair products i never knew hair products had a part to play in breakouts on the skin and it's actually one of the leading causes of um having acne on your face if you're acne prone so i know i have to change my hair products and that's the one that has been stressing me honestly i've been doing a lot of research because i'm going to be changing my hair products and i need to be very careful of which one i'm switching to so i'm going to use, start using acne safe hair products yes so on the website of this clinic um, is acne center houston yeah so on their website um there's a place where you can put in the ingredients of any products you're using so it's going to tell you if the product contains any acne prone substances or chemicals like that so right now before i buy any hair products anything on my face i'm going to look for their ingredients on google i copy it i paste it on their website and the website is going to tell me if it is safe for acne or not and guys for hair products that i have checked that are acne safe they are quite pricey you know is this cheap ones that we buy even the ones that are not so cheap they are the ones that are not safe but you see those ones that are maybe plant-based or paraben free you know those non cosmetogenic or whatever the english is the ones that are acne safe they are quite pricey and i understand that nothing good comes easy all the time and soup with sweets na money spoiler ma bin na money killer <laughs> yeah so it's a journey you know that i'm willing to embark on so i'm gonna change my hair products from my deep conditioner my shampoo my leave-in conditioner every little thing to the details and even makeup as well they are acne safe makeups so it's like i'm changing all the things i've been using over the years especially my hair products so let me quickly show you the products that i got it came in this small cute gift bag and yeah so what i have here is the soothing toner i got the toner this is the hydra hydra plus gel this is the moisturizer um what else what else yeah the face wash that it looks like and this is a serum it's mandelic serum or whatever it is <laughs> and then i was given two samples of the spf and oops that dropped and the vitamin c serum so they are just sample sizes she gave me the sample size of the spf because she said it leaves white cast and she wants me to use it if i would like it and also the vitamin serum she wants me to use it for some time if i like it then i can buy it as well so she told me how to use them and the quantity to use and she said if i use them exactly how she tells me I mean the quantity it's gonna last for about three months which i want to see how that goes and yeah so also here i have a list of some acne safe products from makeup to body wash toothpaste as well you know shampoos conditioner shaving cream all of it here are acne safe so if i want to buy any, anyone or change anyone I can go by this list so i have another 
facial or treatment in two weeks so it's like every two weeks then every once a month six months like that till i am cleared of the acne so let's see how it goes honestly i'm really looking forward to this and fingers crossed i get the result that i want i'll try as much as possible to be as consistent as i can be and change the product i can so yeah let's see how it goes okay so i'll see you in another skincare treatment video i don't know if i'm gonna vlog for my next treatment but if not i'll see you in my next video so like this video leave a comment subscribe if you have not and take care of yourself <laughs> all right bye